What is up, guys? Welcome to another Home Free Friday. As always, if you enjoy the kind of content I'm putting out, feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below, share with your friends, all that good stuff. But today, we are taking a look at Christmas Music Home Free. And I know what you're saying. You're probably thinking like, Mike, what are you thinking, man? It's too early for Christmas music. And I would agree with you. I personally am not a huge Christmas music fan, but in Minnesota, it is a blizzard out here right now. So I guess I'm in the Christmas music mood as much as I ever could be. Um, but this isn't going to be like a traditional Christmas music, like an old one. This is going to be grandma or grandpa. I think it was grandma. Grandma got run over by a reindeer, which it, it's a funny, silly Christmas song. So I figure that might be like a good introduction for me into home free Christmas music, just because I'm sure that in the video, they're just going to be having a great time. They're just going to be kind of fooling around, which I love to see that in home free. They're just such fun dudes. I love to see them in their element. Um, but home free, much like Pentatonix, much like really all acapella, they are like heavily, heavily into Christmas music. I don't quite understand why, um, but hey, if that's a large part of their catalog, I have to react to it, and what better time to do it than now. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and let's go ahead and get into it. Oh my god. Uh, Adam in his tip jar. <laughs> to go <laughs> but she forgot her medication and she staggered out the door into the snow when we found her christmas morning at the scene of the attack let me tell you something she had hoof prints on her forehead and incriminating claws marks on her back two three grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe ba -da -da. Now we're all so proud of Grandpa He's been taking this so well See him in there watching football da -da -da -da. Playing cards and drinking beer with Cousin Ben <laughs> It's not Christmas without Grandma. All the family's dressed in black. Amazing grace. And we just can't help but wonder, should we open up her gifts or send them back? Send them back? Oh, Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Walking home from our house Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Santa. <laughs> but as for me and Grandpa, we believe. Now the goose is on the table And the pudding made of fish And the blue and silver candles That would just have matched the hair in Grandma's wig I warned all my friends and neighbors <laughs> Better watch out for yourselves. Sing it, Rob. They should never give a license. No. To a man who drives a sleigh and plays with elves. And that's why Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Walking home from our house Christmas Eve. <laughs> oh you can say there's no such thing as sin. Grandpa, we believe. But as for me and Grandpa, we believe. But as for me and Grandpa, we believe. Yes, as for me and Grandpa, we believe. 
watching our video for grandma got run over by a reindeer we had such a good first and foremost make sure you guys are subscribed to home free if you're not already they are amazing and hilarious and deserve all the love in the world um but that was fantastic that was wonderful i actually don't think i've ever heard that song all the way through i think i only have ever heard the chorus around christmas time so that was interesting um all right, let's go ahead and get big. So I think I made the right choice in, in doing a silly song like this first, or a silly Christmas song first. But <clears throat> after having listened to the uh, to the lyrics, the song's kind of dark, man. Like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I misheard the lyrics, but I'm pretty sure Grandma died. Like, is that what happened? Like, Grandma just left the party on Christmas Eve and died? I, that's... It's pretty brutal, man, especially for a Christmas song, especially for a Christmas song that kids sing and that kids know. That was uh, that was that was quite the uh, eye opening experience. Um, but really, like who would close the door on home free like them walking around caroling? Talk about the best carolers ever, ever. Oh my god. I mean, I don't even think I saw a single dollar in Adam's tip jar throughout, like throughout the entire video. And they went to like four or five different houses. You think they would have gotten at least a buck or two like that? That just makes me so damn sad. Uh, um, but the video, yeah, the video was great. The video was adorable. I loved the suits that uh, Tim and Austin were rocking. Uh, Rob dressed up as the elf adorable i feel like a lot of people would think he would take the traditional route being a larger guy with a beard and being santa nah screw that because it's funnier for him to be an elf and that's why rob did it and that's why i love rob so much because he's just a funny funny dude and uh adam though adam every time every single song i just i'm in awe of just how good he was like i don't even think that this song really needed him to go off as much as he did especially at the beginning like he was put he, i heard a tambourine in there he was doing like these really subtle like cymbal rolls in between his beats i mean I, I i don't think that it needed to be there but i'm so happy that it was and i'm so happy that he decided like yeah you know what i am gonna go hard in this one just because i can and i think the listeners will like it and oh my god these home free guys are just the absolute best. And this song too had a lot of four part harmonies. Like I feel like a lot of home free I've listened to, or at least a lot of home free that I've listened to earlier or like like lately, they've been a lot of people taking solos and then you'd have like these alternating harmonies coming in, which sound great, which sound amazing. But this, there was a lot more of almost barbershop style four part harmonies in this which was really good it's really cool to hear that because the four of them obviously i'm excluding adam because he's busy uh but the four of them are so good and when they all sing together uh i forget what it's called one of my patrons explained this to me though that when you have those four voices that are singing and they're in perfect like harmony perfect pitch that it actually tricks your ears into thinking that there is a fifth um a fifth voice or like a fifth singer and it's really really cool and apparently you get a lot of that with barbershop but i feel like in this being almost like barbershop influenced at least from what i got for the arrangement uh just sounded great sounded awesome um but yeah big thanks to my patron though for explaining that to me uh, i always like to learn um <laughs> but yeah i mean tim austin and rob too how they all had their solos it was so great because they all brought something so profoundly different to the table especially rob at the end there how he just brought everything down how he slowed everything down up until that last chorus when it was back and it was poppy and it was happy ah, 
yeah, this was great. I, I thought this was an incredible arrangement. It was so much fun to watch because they had so much fun. And it's it's getting me a little bit more excited for more home-free holiday music, which we'll be, uh, we'll be seeing a lot of here in the next couple months. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Clearly, I loved it. Um, let me know what you thought down in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you all in a reaction very soon.